everyone, it's Ginger from My Sister's Scrapper. Um, today I have a tutorial to share with you. I had several requests um, from people on my Christmas mini album that I just posted a video on um, using the, ver the paper bags, um, but they're vertical style. So um, this is, um, I don't know if anybody else has a tutorial on how to do this. I just kind of did it myself. So. Um, if you do, then, um, sorry I didn't notice it, but there's several people that have used paper bags like this, um, but I'm not sure if there's any tutorials. So I'm going to show you how to do that, um, how I created the pages, and then on each page I made a flap. So I'm going to show you how I did that. So what you're going to need is um, some six paper bags, and um, I like to use the... Celebrated bags from Michaels, and these are the larger ones. And I, it says they're four and five eighths by eight and five eighths. Um, and they come in lots of different colors. They um, for the Christmas mini album, I use the black ones. Um, they do have like other colors like pink and green and orange. Orange would be cute for Halloween. Uh, I've just never done that. I've always only used the black and the and the craft color. So, because of, for video purposes, I'm going to show you um, how to put the page together using the crafts because it's easier to see on film than the black ones. Um, so, you'll need that. You'll need your cutter, your scoreboard, um, paper trimmer. If you want to do the, the decorative flap like I did, you'll need a hole punch and a decorative corner punch, uh, ruler, scissors, and... Um, that's about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you the dimensions that I used for the for the Christmas mini album. Um, you can use whatever dimensions you want as far as the height of your mini album. My mini album um, was my covers are eight and a half by five, so that's the measurements that I'm going to share with you today. Um, again, what and you can use in this mini album whatever binding system you want. I'm not going to do a tutorial on the binding system because the binding system that I particularly used in the Christmas mini album was the Stack the Deck binding from Laura Dennison, and she has a tutorial from I think it was last Christmas on her YouTube channel. So um, I will put a link to her Stack the Deck binding tutorial on my blog, so you can check out that if you don't know how to do and there's uh, several other binding systems out there that's just the one that I used on that one I'm actually trying a different one on another mini album um, that I will share with you Kathy Orta from Paper Phenomenon has a hidden hinge binding system that I'm going to try out so so that's what we're going to do so get your paper bags and decide how high you want your how tall you want your mini album again the Christmas mini was eight and a half by five on my covers okay so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to prep your bags. So get your cutter out. And what you're going to do is you take the bags right out of the bag and they're a package and they're already folded like this. I leave mine folded like this when I go to measure how tall I want my, my, um, my pages. Um, I don't like this little raggy edge so I usually trim it off. So what I do is I take my um, bags already just fresh out of the package, already in this folded position where this little they're lying flat and you've got the flap going up. Always measure them the same way. If you're going to measure them with the flap up, then do that with all your pages so you get a consistent measurement. Or if you're going to measure them with the flap down, just make sure you do it consistently with all six pages. So you're going to take your bags and you're going to decide. On that particular Christmas mini album, I made my bags eight and a quarter inches high. So you're going to put the end at the eight and a quarter mark, and you're just going to trim that off. That's what you have left. So you're going to trim all your bags to eight and a quarter, and then your bags roughly measure four and three quarters. That's what I used for my measurements when I was matting my, my, uh, my paper. So you're going to do four and three quarters. It's going to be the width, which is already set, and you're going to measure your bag and trim it down to eight and a quarter. Okay. So now, what you're going to do is, what I did first is I decided um, this I'm going to make a little pocket because it's already folded up. It's not very deep, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter. So what I did was um, 
I matted my paper first. And the beauty of having a pocket is you don't have to go all the way down. So what you can do on my particular Christmas mini album, um, because I used a bunch of leftover paper that was already pre-cut, um, I like to leave a border. On the black bags, I like to leave a, a border on the um, around the outside edge. Same with the craft paper. I just like that look. So since my paper bag is four and three quarters wide, I'm going to make my paper four and a half inches wide. And then... Um, from the point of the flap to here is five and a quarter, but I do want to tuck it in. So you could cut it at six, six and a quarter. So if you're using um, like a six by six paper pad, it's already cut at six. And six is good enough because you're not going to see that because it's going to be glued down. But what you're going to want to do, so trim your paper to four and a half, and we'll just make it six for this particular side of the page. Okay. And you want to map this section here before you create your pocket. And when you create your pocket, you want to use a wet glue. I like the Scotch Quick Dry um, because if you use your tape, then you have your tags will get stuck inside. So go ahead and map this down first, and then we'll go ahead and create the pocket. So let me get my design paper here. So we're going to cut it to four and a half. Wide by six. So four and a half. By six. So that's the size you will need for that particular section of your pocket. So again, if you want to ink your edges, you would ink your edges and then go ahead and just center that down and attach that to your bag. So then you have this left, okay? So that's where you would go ahead and run a bead of glue on this side and this side and then just stick it down, okay? Now. What I did in my Christmas mini was I added, I wanted more room. I had all this extra papers left, so I was trying to come up with a way to use it all since it's already pre-cut. I wanted, I thought I would add a flap. The beauty, of, and so that's what I'm going to show you now. The beauty of the paper bags, and you can add the flap before you decorate your paper. That would, it's fine. It doesn't matter either way. It's actually probably better. The side, what I did was because this is a pocket, I knew this was going to be a little thicker on this side, so I wanted my flap to be on the flat side so my flap would fold over on this piece and the beauty of the paper bag is it's got these folds in here that are like the gussets of the bag so they're kind of like um, that's what we're going to use to attach to our binding and we're going to attach our flap so what I did was I went ahead and measured again my bag <clears throat> and I went ahead and cut my cardstock that I wanted to use for the flap. And since I'm using craft bags, I'm gonna use a craft cardstock. I probably won't, this is just um, Recollections brand cardstock. So that's what I'm gonna, that's what I have, that's what I'm gonna show you. But I would probably use the um, Hobby Lobby because it a little more matches it a little better. But in that one I use black, so. And I did trim this um, a little bit smaller because I wanted to make sure that it would fold, it would fold over. So what I did on this particular piece is I cut my, um, I used eight and a half by 11 cardstock and I cut the little flap to eight inches because my bags were eight and a quarter. So eight inches by five inches. And the reason why I made them five, I made them a little bit bigger is because I have to, I want to, I need to attach this to something. So I'm going to have a score line here. So you're going to need a scoreboard. So my flap was eight by five. And I'm going to score it at four and a half inches. So take your scoreboard out. And on the five inch side, you're going to lie, lay it down there like that. And you're going to score at four and a half inches. Okay. Just like that. Okay. That's all the scoring we need to do. So I'm going to move that. And then go ahead and fold your score line. 
use a bone folder because you want a really good crease because this is actually going to be part of the con page construction. So then you're left with this. So then you have your paper bag and this is going to get glued inside this gusset right here. Now if you notice, because the bag's got an angle here, we have a straight edge, um, this isn't going to fit. So what we have to do is I went ahead and took my scissors and I trimmed, I angled my my bag. So take it and I just eyeballed it. Honestly, I don't because it's it's an angle. You're going to want it to be a pretty sharp angle um, because you want to make sure your flap is centered from top to bottom because remember it is a little bit smaller than our actual bag. So I angled it so it looks like this. Okay, And then I stuck it in there to see if it would fit right, which it does. So that's going to sit right in there. And then what I did is I just made sure and I just eyeballed it so I had it even from centered from top to bottom. So that's the flap. So to attach this, what you'll do is you will take your take your score tape. I like um, I like score tape. Um, however, I'm out, so I'm using this other stuff called scrappy tape that I got at Score Pal. Um, jury's still out whether or not if I like it. <laughs> it sticks just as well, but um, I just I don't know. I haven't decided yet. So run your score tape. Remember, don't go over your um, your score line. Run your score tape on the little flap on both sides. Both sides of the little half inch flap there. And again, with any type of score tape or red line tape or tacky tape or whatever tape you use that has a backing, you want to burnish it with a bone folder before you pull the backing off. Number one, it makes the backing come off easier. And number two, you get a, a better grip. Okay, so there's our little flap. And if you want, you can taper this top corner. Um, it's not necessary because our bag, our flap's a little bit smaller than our, um, our bag. So go ahead, and this is kind of the tricky part, but you can, if you just take your time, you can get it. So then what you'll do is you're going to put it inside the gusset here. And again, um, I want my flap to go this way. So my binding's going to be on the left, and my flap will be on the right side of the bag. And it's going to be attached to this, so it'll flap open on the flat side of the bag. So go ahead and just center it down in there. Make sure you don't go over your score line and you just press it down. And then there you have it. Again, that's your flap. Pretty cool, huh? See? And then what that did is that sealed that gusset on the top so you have really a flat page. Now, so for this particular side, all of your pages are going to look like this. All six pages. If you want to flap on all six pages, you don't have to. Um, but that's what I did on mine. And the key is to make sure you got it straight. Because you can see here, I kind of get this little... Either I cut crooked or my bag's crooked. Anyway, this side right here is what we are going to attach to our binding. Whatever binding system you choose to use. I don't add my pages to my binding until I get them all decorated. Or basically pretty much covered with the paper. Um, and then I will attach them to my binding. So on my pa Christmas paper bag mini album, I used a decorative punch um, because I really like that look. Um, so I have the Martha Stewart punch. That's this is the one that I used on the um, oopsie butterfly on the um, Christmas mini album. So what I did was I went ahead and just punched the two corners here. The only, I was trying to figure out how I could do this because I really like the matted look of the paper, you know, so um, I thought, how can I do this so my paper would look, you know, I still wanted this cute little decorative edge, but I didn't want, you know, I didn't know how to figure it out. So it took me a while, but I finally decided I could use a circle punch and do a half circle. So what I did was I cut my paper to mat this to my regular size. Since my flap is eight by five or eight by four and a half after it's finished, so it's eight inches this way and four and a half this way, I cut my design paper like I normally would to seven and three quarters high by four and a quarter wide. 
And as you see, that will fit right on there. So I thought, okay, what can I do? You, clearly you can't use this again. So that's when I decided, aha, I'm gonna just cut a little circle out here with my circle punch, kind of a semi-circle. And I again, I didn't, there's no measuring involved because it's a circle. So I just kind of lined it up how I thought it would look and then I decided how far I wanted it out. So I, what I did was I used a piece of scrap paper to see how much of a, um, a circle. So I put the point in first and what I did was I lined it up in my Fiskars, there's like these little dots and I lined it up right to the center of the center dot, the point. So I took it in at an angle like this and lined it up like that and punched. And again, I did this on a scrap piece of paper so I would know. And then I laid it down here and ta-da, that's it. So that's how I made, I did my design paper. So again, I took my design paper after I used my scrap to figure out where I was going to mark it at. And I just stuck it in there and punched a corner or half a semi portion of a circle out. And then that gets matted on there like that. And that will give you that decorative edge because I really like that look. So we'll do the top piece. So you only need to do this to two, two sides. And since there's no measuring, it's not going to be exact, but it'll be pretty close. So then you just glue that down. And then that's our flap. And then you decorate here. And then this is your pocket for the top. Now, once we attach this to our binding, let's say we get all of our pages done, we get all the paper on there. Now we're gonna put our binding system together. Again, whatever binding mechanism you choose to use is up to you. You can use hinges. Um, for the Christmas mini album, I use the stack the deck binding. And that is right here. Here's one that's partially done. I'm going to show you that on this one. So you would cut it to the height of your bags and get your binding system all ready to go. And again, because the bag, when you go to attach it in here, has an angle, you have to angle your, um, you have to angle your, like we did on the flap, we have to angle that edge off. So again, I went ahead and I made it a pretty steep angle. I'm just gonna cut it like this and you have to do that to each one of them. But what I did was before I put any of my tape or anything on there, I made sure they were gonna fit. So again, we're gonna stick that in there. Just like that. And there we have it. So that's how you're gonna attach your binding system. Again, you'll put score tape on your flap here, on this side, and on this side, don't go over your score line. You can put two rows of score tape because it's at three quarter of an inch if you use the quarter inch. And then go ahead and stick it in there, stick it down. So that's basically how I use the paper bags vertically. So then when you have your bag, all your pages all together, You'll have, again, this is why we need to trim that off. Let's trim this off real quick. You'll have your bag like this. So there's one page and then that the next page. And this is just for four pages, but um, you would have another one here if you wanted to do six, which is what I did on that one. I recommend six pages only. I wouldn't go any more than that because it's really, really fat. This binding system that I use that um, gives you a quarter inch gusset in between, but I probably should have adjusted my measurements and gave me a little bit more room depending on how many embellishments you're gonna do. So that's basically the page construction. So you open it up, you have a flap here and a flap, a place for photos and photos, and then you turn the page over and then you have your design paper in here. This is already, we'll say decorated, pretend. And then you're gonna glue this down. You'll have a pocket here, and this will be decorated with some design paper as well. 
So you'll have pocket here, and then you also have this large pocket here at the top. So after you get your pages all done, um, your your gussets are going to be glued down like we did on like see how this there's no space in between here now because when we get it glued to the binding it's going to be flat like that. So when you make your photo mats, um, I just stuck my ruler in there to see how deep it was, and I wanted mine to stick out of the top. You don't have to. You can use a punch, whatever you want. So that's how I use the paper bags in the vertical position to create my mini album. So there you have it, everybody. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, let me know. And thanks for watching. Bye.